Karibola. Namaste, everyone. A blessed day and a blessed evening to all. Welcome to Congregational Kirtan. Pass on my program and share a chance of wisdom by Sir Acharya Das. We are live in Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, BK, and Sumusama Cast. I'm your host for today, Mukunda Dasi. Please accept my humble obeisances. Before I introduce our first Ooh. guest to chant with us, Please continue praying to our dear friends and devotees around the world who suffers from pain, illness, and uncertainty. Let's continue chanting and praying. So from my place, let's trade ahead to our first guest to chant with us. From Philippines, let's welcome my dear Ate Ellen. Haribo Namaste. Haribo Namaste. Namaste everyone. Haribo.
so much my dear Ate Ellen for coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting Chai Chai Gurudev Chai Chai Anitai Gaur Chai Chai Sankirtan Hari Bol Hari Bol Hari Bol Maraming salamat po Please take care Hari Bol Namaste And now let's fly to Kazakhstan Let's yeah. welcome my dear Eliam Hari Bol Namaste Haribo! Haribo! Haribo namaste! Haribo namaste! This is for you, this prasadam, April. Thank you so much, my dear Eliam, for sharing <laughs> prasadam for us. Haribo namaste! Haribo! Varupanam 
Thank you so much, my dear Elian, for coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Chai Chai Gurudev, Chai Chai Anita Igor, Chai Chai Sankirtan Haribo! Haribo, thank you so much for invite. Haribo, Hari Krishna, Jaya Jaya Gurudeva. Haribo. Haribo. Spasiba, please take care. Haribo, namaste. <laughs> <laughs> and now let's fly to Poland. Let's welcome my dear Renya. Haribol Namaste. Haribol Namaste. I'm very, very, very happy to see you. Haribol to all the devotees. Haribol to Laguna Bacta family. Haribol. Haribol. Haribol, beautiful. Haribol, please accept all of you this prasadam. Uh, her and please accept this Prasadam garland. Uh, it is Balakia, our dear Balakia Das Garland's day. Haribo. <laughs> Haribo. Thank you so much, my dear Renya, for sharing that to us. Haribo Namaste. Haribo Namaste. Haribo. Vishnu Madaya Shastaya Bhutal Shimate Siddhas Parupananda Paramahasai Kinaya Namaom Vishnu Madaya Shastaya Bhutal Shimate Siddhas Parupananda Paramahasai Kinaya Namusida Sparupananda Paramahamsa Namine Gora Karuna Sparupaya Radhishna Pesta Namusida Sparupananda Paramahamsa Namine Gora Karuna Sparupaya Radhishna Pesta Nama Om Bhakti Vedanta Swami Namine Gura Karuna Sarupaya Radha Krishna Vestaya Nama Om Bhakti Vedanta Swami Namine Gura Karuna Sarupaya Radha Krishna Vestaya Vajra Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichinanda Shri Advaita Gadakthara Shiva Sadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Vajra Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichinanda 
श्री अद्वैता शिव सदी गुरुवाका बाज श्री कृष्णा चैतान्या प्रभुनी चिनांदा श्री अद्वैता गादा शिव सदी गुरुवाका वृंदा गौरांगा गौरांगा गंगारी बो निचिनंदा 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 हरी बो गौरांगा 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 हरी बो निचिनंदा निचिनंदा Nichinanda Hari Bo Nichinanda 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 Hari Bo Gauranga 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 Hari Bo Nichinanda 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 Hari Bo Gauranga, Gauranga, Gauranga Hari Bo. Gauranga, Gauranga, Gauranga Hari Bo. Nichinanda, Nichinanda, Nichinanda Hari Bo. Gauranga, Gauranga, Nanda Hari Bo, Nichi Nanda Nichi Nanda Nichi Nanda Hari Bo. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Gopala, Gopala. Jaya Jaya Gopala, Govinda Govinda, Jaya Jaya Govinda, Gopala Gopala, Jaya Gopala, Govinda Govinda, Jaya Jaya Govinda. Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana. Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana. Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana. Gopala Govinda Rama, Mahadana Bhata. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama Hare. 
Jaya Jaya Sila Prabhu Pa, Jaya Jaya Guru De, Jaya Sila Prabhu Pa, Jaya Jaya Guru De, Jaya Sila Prabhu Pa, Jaya Jaya Guru De, Jaya Sila Prabhu Pa. Jaya Sita Sarvananda, Paramahamsa Prabhupa. Jaya Sita Sarvananda, Paramahamsa Shila Prabhupa. Jaya Sita Sarvananda, Paramahamsa Prabhupa. Jaya Sita Sarvananda. Paramahamsa Shila Guru Dev, Guru Dev Jaya Daya Guru Dev Guru Dev, Guru Dev Jaya Daya Guru Gauranga, Gauranga Andari ko nichi nanda nichi nanda nichi nanda hari ko duranga duranga nanga hari ko nichi nanda nichi nanda nichi nanda hari ko. Nichi nanda nichi nanda nichi nanda hari Gauranga, 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Jaya Jaya Lord Krishna Jaya Prahlad Maharaj, 
Jaya Jaya Lord Shimade, Jaya Jaya Rahu Mahara, Jaya Jaya Lord Shimade, Jaya Jaya Prahlad Mahara, Jaya Jaya Lord Shimade, Jaya Jaya Rahu Master <laughs> Kavakala Kamala Vare, the Kama Buddha Shringa, Dalida Hiranya Kashipu, Tano Bringa, Shavari Tanarari Rupa, Jaita Gadi Shahare, Jaita Gadi Shahare, Jaita Gadi Shahare. Jaya Lord Krishna, Jaya Prakad Mahara, Jaya Guru Dev Haripal Marami Salamat Po Salakha. Haripal, thank you so Haripol. much, my dear Renya, for coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Chai Chai Gurudev, Chai Chai Nitai Kaur, Chai Chai Sankirtan Haripal. <laughs> Haripal. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Please take care <laughs> and Harry Paul to Sarah Yasek. Harry Paul Namaste. <laughs> Harry Paul. Harry Paul. And now let's fly to Krishna Darasha. Let's welcome my dear Julia. Harry Paul Namaste. Harry Paul Namaste. Harry Paul everyone. Harry Paul Kondadasi. Harry Paul. Harry Paul. Harry Paul. Harry Paul. Harry Paul.
Haribo. Haribo. Thank you so much, my dear Julia and Sir Dimitri, for coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Jai Jai Gurudev, Jai Jai Anita Igor, Jai Jai Sankirtan, Haribo! 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 Thank you so much. Please take care. Haribo Namaste. And now let's fly to Poland and Ukraine. Let's welcome my dear Ivona and Andri. Haribol Namaste. Haribol Namaste. Thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you for this opportunity to chant holy names with, with all of you. Jaya Guru Dev, Jaya Krishna. Haribol Namaste. Krishna Krishna. Haribo. Я починаю чити. Давай я. Нама ом вишну кадая, вишна пресая бутаве, шимате сида твару пананда, парама амса и чинамине. Нама ом вишну кадая, Krishna Pestaya Bhutale Shimate Siddhas Varupananda Paramaham Saiti Namine Namo Siddhas Varupananda Paramaham Sanamine Ora Karuna Svarupaya Radha Krishna Pestaya Te Namo Siddha Svarupananda Paramaham Sanamine Gora Karuna Svarupaya Radha Krishna Pestayate Namo Om Vishnu Padaya Vishnu Pestaya Bhutale Imate Bhakti Vedanta Svani ti namine. Nama om Vishnu Padaya, Vishnu Pestaya Bhutale, Shimate Bhakti Vedanta, Svani ti namine. Nama se Saraswati Deva, Oravani Precharine, Nirvisaita Sunya Vadi, Pata Chyade Shatarine. Namaste Saraswati Deva, Boravani Precharine. Nirvisaita Sunya Vadi, Pata Chyade Shatarine. Namaha Vadanyaya. Krishna Prema Pretaya Te, Krishna Ya Krishna Chaitanya Namine, Ora Tite Nama. Namo Mahavada Naya, Krishna Prema Pretaya Te, Krishna Ya Krishna Chaitanya Namine, Ora Tite Nama. Namobrahmanya Devaya, Gobrahmana Hitaya Chya, Jagat Hitaya Krishnaya, Govindaya Namo Nama. Namobrahmanya Devaya, Gobrahmana Hitaya Chya, Jagat Hitaya Krishnaya, Govindaya Namo Nama. Namo Bhagavata Vasudevaya, 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 Namo
Maya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gagata Shri Vatayi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Maya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gagata Shri Vatayi Maya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Tadadgar Shri Vasadhi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Maya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Tadadgar Shri Vasadhi Maya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadatta Shri Vasadhi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Maya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadatta Shri Vasadhi Maja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Radhakar Shri Vasadhi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Maja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Radhakar Shri Vasadhi Hari Bol, Nitai Bol, Nitai Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Nitai Bol, Nitai Bol, Hari Bol. Hari Bol, Nitai Bol, Nitai Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Nitai Bol, Nitai Bol. Hari Bo, Nitai Bo, Nitai Bo, Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Nitai Bo, Nitai Bo, Hari Bo. Hari Bo, Nitai Bo, Nitai Bo, Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Nitai Bo, Nitai Bo. Hari Bo, Nitai Bo, Nitai Bo, Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Nitai Bo, Nitai Bo, Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Hare Nama, 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 H
हरे नाम हरे नाम हरे नाम वो खो नास्तिया Krishna 
Vishnu Sadaya, Krishna Prasthaya, Bhutave, Srimate Kira, Sarupananda, Paramaham Sai, Namine. Krishna, 
Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Radha Rani Shama Sunda, Radha Rani Shama Sunda, Radha Rani Mahakava, Rindeva Haribo. Radha Rani Shama Sunda, Radha Rani Shama Sunda, Radha Rani Mahakava, Rindeva Haribo. Radha Rani Shama Sunda, Radha Rani Shama Sunda, Radha Rani Mahakava, Dindevan Haribo. Radharani Shama Sunda, Radharani Mahakava, Vrindeva Haribo. Jaya Radhe, Jaya Krishna, Jaya Vrindeva, Sri Govinda Gopinata, Madana Mohana. Jaya Radhe, Jaya Krishna, Jaya Vrindeva, Shiva Vinda Gopinata Madana Mohana Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Vindeva Shiva Vinda Gopinata Madana Mohana Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Vindeva Shiva Vinda Gopinata Madana Mohana Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Vindeva Shri Govinda Gopinata Madana Mohana Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Vindeva Shri Govinda Gopinata Madana Mohana Radisham, Radisham, Jaya Jaya Radisham, 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 Jaya Jaya Rindeva. Radisham, Radisham, Jaya Jaya Radisham, 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 Jaya Jaya Rindeva. Rade Govinda. Radhe Gopala, Radhe Govinda, Radhe Gopala. Shama Kunda, Radha Kunda, Giri Govardhan, Kalinji Yamuna Jaya, Jaya Mahama. Shama Kunda, Radha Kunda, Giri Govardhan, Kalinji Yamuna Jaya. Jaya Mahavan Shama Radha Kunda, Giri Govarda, Kalinji Yamuna Jaya, Jaya Mahavan. Radha Rani 
Namaste Narasimgaya Prasada Swadadaya Niranyaka Shifu Bhaksha Shiva Tankana Kulaye Ito Nirsimgo Yato yato ya itta to nishingo Tajir nishingo khida nishingo Nishinga in saranam tapadaye Tavakara kamala vare nakam Aduta shingam Daita Iranya Kashipu Tanurim Gaham Teshavadrita Narahari Rupa Jajagadi Shakare Jajagadi Shakare Jajagadi Shakare Haribo! Hari Haribo, Krishna! Hari Haribo! Yeah. Thank you so much, my dear Yvonne and Andre, for coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Jai Jai Gurudev, Jai Jai Anitai Gaur, Jai Jai Sankirtan, Haribo! Hari Haribo! Jai Jai Haribo! Haribo, thank you so much. Please take care. Haribol namaste. 
And now, let's fly to Cebu, Philippines. Let's welcome Sir Daryl Haribol. Namaste. Haribol. Namaste. Haribol. Hi, Krishna, everybody. Gaya Hari Namastan Kita. Haribol. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya. Krishna Kristaya Bhutale Vimate Siddha Swarupananda Aramahamsa Itinamile Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Kristaya Bhutale I Radha Krishna Dayate Namo Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nami Ne Ora Karuna Swarupaya Radha Krishna Kristayate Namaste Sarasvati Deva Goravani Pracharine Namaste Sarasvati Deva Ishatarine Namo Mahavadanaya Krishna Prema Pradaya Te Krishna Ya Krishna Chaitanya Namide Dora Tishe Nama Maja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Babu Nichinanda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shri Vastari go back to Grinda Chaitanya 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 Haribo Nichinanda Nichinanda Chinanda Hari Bo Chaitanya Nichinanda Gora Hari Chaitanya Nichinanda Gora Hari Chaitanya Nichinanda Gora Hari Chaitanya Nichinanda Gora Hari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 
Krishna, Krishna, Hare, Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama, Rama, Hare, Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama, Rama, Hare, Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama, Rama, Hare, Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. <coughs> Krishna, Krishna, Hare, Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Baba, I go, Hari Bo. Hari Bo, it's I go. It's I go, Hari Bo. Go, Pala, go, in the Mama. Madonna, go, Pala, go, in the Mama. Madana Murari Haribo 
Madana Mohana Urari Haribo Madana Mohana Murari Haribo Madana Mohana Murari Haribo Go Pala Go Vinda Brahma Madana Mohana Go Pala Go Vinda Brahma Madana Mohana Go Vinda Jaya Jaya Go Pala Jaya Jaya Raja Ramana Hari oh. <laughs> Madana Mohana Govinda Jaya Jaya Gopala Jaya Jaya Raja Ramana Hari Govinda Jaya Jaya Hari Nama, Hari Nama, Hari Nama, Eva Kevalo, Kalona Stephen, 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 Dati Vanyata, Hari Nama, Hari Nama, Hari Nama, Eva Kevalo. Hello, the stable, the stable, the stable. Dati Vanyata. Hari Nama, Hari Nama. Hari Nama, Eva Kiva Lo. Hello, the stable, the stable, the stable. The stable. Tiranyata Jaya Jaya Guru Deva Jaya Jaya Goranga <coughs> Jaya Jaya Guru Deva Jaya Jaya Goranga Jaya Siddha Swarupa Nanda Arama Hamsa Prabhu Paha Jaya Siddha Swarupa Nanda Arama Hamsa Srila Prabhu Jaya Jaya Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhu Paha Jaya Jaya Bhakti Vedanta uh, Swami Srila Prabhupada Jaya Jaya Lord Shringa Day Jaya Pralad Maharaj Jaya Jaya Lord Shringa Day Jaya Jaya Pralad Maharaj Oh, glories unto you, dear Lord of the universe. Oh, glories unto you, dear Lord of the universe. Jaya Jaya, Lord, no shrink a day. Jaya Pala Maharaja. Jaya Jaya, Lord, no shrink a day. Jaya Jaya, Father Maharaj. Haribo. Haribo. Thank you so much, Sir Daryl, for coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Chai Chai Gurudev. Jaya Chai Anitai Kaur. Chai Chai Sankirtan Haribo.
Ali Ali Bo! Namaste. Oh. Just getting used to the Philippines heat. Hari Hari. Hari Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Thank you. Thank you so Namaste. much. Please take care. Hari Bo. Namaste. Namaste. Hari Bo. Hari Bo. And now let's fly to Poland. Let's welcome Nicholas Linder. Hari Bo. Namaste. Hari Bo. While waiting for Nicholas, let's call Mamba Chandasi. Hari Bol Namaste. Yes, Namaste. Hari Bol. <laughs> Where's my guitar? Oh, my God. 
for coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful <laughs> chanting. Chai Chai Gurudev, Chai Chai Anitai Kaur, Chai Chai Sankirtan Hari Bo! Bo! Thank you so much! Thank you so much. Please take care. Hari Bo! Namaste! From Shara Mai Kirtan, let's move to share a gems of wisdom. A disciple of His Holiness, Chagat Guru Siddhaswarupananda Paramahamsa Prabhupada and His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. The title of the video lecture is The Great Illusion, Maya. Let's welcome Sir Acharya Das. Hari Bol Namaste.
Namaste Vasudevaya. Hari Bol. So, um, tonight we're probably going to go out on a little bit of a limb and deal with a topic or subject that we don't really often talk about very much at all, but it is actually of uh, great importance. The title of this talk is The Great Illusion, or Maya. The subject may be, for some people, a little bit esoteric, maybe. And some people, when hearing about it, particularly for the first time, might find it a bit overwhelming in the sense it's like, oh my God, I had no idea. But please don't be intimidated or overwhelmed. There's also no real need to overly focus on what it is that we're going to be talking about. But it is good for one who is on the path of self and God realization to at least just be aware of, of the situation. And I think for, you know, if people listen carefully and actually get it, what it is that we're talking about, um, it can actually arouse in a person a feeling of, of quite deep or deeper humility because we become increasingly aware of our smallness in the big picture and the need for grace, for divine or spiritual grace. So uh, this talk also will kind of, will make some reference to the two previous talks that we did the last couple of weeks the one on uh, the false ego, and then last week on self-esteem. This will sort of like add greater context or more texture to those two, two talks. And I think it will give people uh, a deeper sort of appreciation of, of those topics as well. Maya or illusion. Firstly, we there's a need to recognize that it's it's a really powerful and all pervasive energy. All all living beings, conditioned living beings, are covered and constantly influenced by this very great illusion or illusory energy, which has a profound influence on our life, on our concepts of who we are, our purpose, the world around us, everything, relationships, are deeply influenced by this powerful energy. So some of the, you know, way in which these different ideas are influenced by Maya or this illusion, this constant misconception that we live in, that the body and the mind is the self. And even when you're beginning your spiritual journey, 
and you're cultivating some understanding and you actually become aware of this, the fact that we can't maintain that constant awareness, but within seconds or minutes of going, yes, I understand that, immediately almost slip back in to the consciousness or the idea that I am the body and being overwhelmed by the false ego and false concepts. And then again, you, you hear something or you engage in some meditation and, you know, it's like suddenly you become more aware of your spiritual existence. Then as soon as you stop that, or even in the middle of doing it, suddenly you can be just swept away into this false conception, this false idea of the body as, as being the self. This is all due to the influence of this powerful, illusory energy. The idea that we can find permanent happiness in this world and our searching for it through, you know, uh, that I can find happiness and actual fulfillment in material experiences, in stimulating the senses and having pleasurable sensory experiences. You know, it, 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 we're just constantly caught up with this idea that the I can find happiness, permanent, perpetual happiness in this world. Uh, often mentioned, you know, all, how, how it was common previously for people to end stories, particularly to children, and they lived happily ever after. You know, the reason that concept is around is because it is part of our psyche. It's part of what we desire and innately seek. And the idea that we can find it within the material realm is an illusion. But it's compelling and it really drives us. The idea that I can make a home in this world. You know, I refer to the house that I live in as my home. And all it takes is a natural disaster, a massive flood, an earthquake, a volcanic eruption. And we, we set, you know, a great hurricane and we, everything is rendered to, you know, just a pile of rubbish. And suddenly we're, we're feeling devastated. You see people on television being interviewed and they're just so devastated. It's like the whole world has been turned upside down and shaken. It's because it's not just the inconvenience. It was this idea that I had that this was my home and it offered a safe and permanent place, you know, where there was real safety and, and security. And now that's been ripped away from me and I'm, I'm, devastated and, and overwhelmed. But even when a person goes through that, it doesn't take very long before they get back into once again, trying to find a permanent home in this world. Then you've got the idea of, you know, material relationships being permanent and eternal. And the reality is, and I'm sorry, they are not. When we understand the principle of, of, of reincarnation or transmigration of the soul, you know, prior to this life, we had parents, we had a partner in life, a husband or a wife, we had children, we had relatives, we had friends. And the event known as death permanently altered that. And we have completely forgotten about all of them. And here we are again, completely caught up in the idea of these current relationships 
has been permanent and, and eternal. Then we've got the great quest for love. You know, we have this burning desire, this very deep-seated desire to both love and to be loved. And that is because it is part of the nature of the soul itself. It emanates from our spiritual being. But when we're caught up in this illusion that the body is the self, then we seek to fulfill that what is actually a spiritual need by material means, by material relationships. And of course, we, we never find the actual perfect love that we seek or desire. And even when we get heartbroken, the person that we're in some sort of loving relationship with abandons us or hurts us or betrays us and leaves or or we leave because it's becoming too painful. As soon as I get past that a little bit, then immediately I'm looking for someone else to fill that gap and become the great love of my life. The reality is it is only the supreme soul who can fill that great need that we have. Then I'll just mention something. It was like, <laughs> there's a great story in the Mahabharata, the great spiritual epic of a um, five princely brothers who had been, they had gone through so much, I mean, so much difficulty, and they were sent off into exile and living in the forest. And um, this strange situation came about where four of the brothers had um, attempted to collect water from this lake and had disappeared. And finally, they had gone looking for each other one after the other. And, and finally, the eldest brother, Yudhisthira, who was a great saintly personality, was a great warrior, but also a very saintly person. And he went to the water source looking for his brothers and encountered this rather strange, mystical um, creature, a bird, that spoke with him and said that his brothers had been taken to the nether worlds. But he gave him the opportunity to have them returned by being able to answer a series of questions and this, this thing was just like so amazing. The questions that were asked and Yudhisthira's response that was so profound. So one of the questions that was asked him was, what is the most wonderful thing? So if I ask you to consider that, how would you respond as to what is the most wonderful wonderful thing. You know, you're just going to have an infinite number of answers and probably none of them will be the answer that Yudhisthira gave. And he answered <clears throat> with folded palms, Yudhisthira replied, the most wonderful thing is that although every day innumerable creatures go to the abode of death, still a person thinks that he is immortal. That's kind of like, and you think about it, it's astonishing. You know, when people are coming out of the church after a funeral ceremony, 
and you have people carrying the coffin and people walking behind. And almost none of them are thinking, I'm next. It will be my body in the coffin. Everybody's grieving over the loss of someone. They're thinking, you know, how sad it is and how the wonderful that person was and, you know, whatever. They have all these different thoughts. And in spite of knowing that all those who came before me have died, I am not willing to really embrace this as a serious reality. Because if I did, that would, that would change my life. I mean, my purpose for existence, the way I deal with others, would be all radically altered if, if I accepted that. So all of these things, and of course, limitless other things, some that we'll raise as we go on, uh, are due to the effect of this illusory energy or maya. I'll just make the point that this, this illusory energy is way more than just these things I spoke about. The illusory energy as it is described in great detail in the Vedas actually permeates every atom. It permeates the entire material creation. It is a cause of the material creation. It is considered both the material cause and the um, efficient cause of, of the material creation. Of course, there's a lot of other things involved. This is not all, all that there is. So, you know, if we accept this idea, just relating to those examples that I gave, and we contemplate on that in our life, it's kind of like, well, what, what purpose is it actually serving? Why the need for the living beings to exist in a state of illusion about their entire world, their entire life, about everything, their relate everything. What purpose is there for this illusory energy? To answer that, we have to um, just recall a, a couple of things which we've talked about a few times in the past. When it comes to what I describe as the material condition, you know, the idea of, of being absorbed in bodily identification and my place in the world, my place in relationships, uh, the material condition is synonymous with being self-centered. I see the entire world, everything, all people, everything. I see it in relation to me. I think about it in terms of the effect that it has on my mind and, you know, whether I like or don't like things. I lay claim to everybody, my, my parents, my partner or husband, my wife, my children, my friends. I, I lay claim to everything and I see myself as central. The central enjoying agent. It's all about how do I become happy? How do I experience fulfillment? How do I achieve all of these things? 
this is considered, you know, or understood to be the opposite to actual self-realization. In this condition, I, I am seeing myself as being all important. This idea takes a while to actually really begin to understand and, and appreciate. This condition of wanting to be the central enjoying agent to seeing everything in relation to me is categorized in the Vedas actually as a condition of envy of the Supreme Soul. That's a bit of a startling idea. I mean, that, that took me, when I first heard that idea, it blew my mind and I could not accept it. I could not believe that was true. No, I, I you know, I've, I've got a, a friendly attitude towards God. I'm very open to that. And, you know, I think, you know, he's probably okay and cool and everything and loving and kind. You know, I, I, I'm not possibly, I couldn't possibly be envious of him. But that envy is manifest in myself, seeing myself as the center of everything. And that is an unnatural position for the Atma. The Atma or the individual soul, the self, is not the central enjoying agent. We are one amongst a limitless ocean of living beings. But amongst all these living beings, Nitya, Nitya Nam, Chaitana, Chaitana Nam, there is one being who is chief. There is one being who is supreme. There is one conscious being upon whom all other beings are dependent. That is the Vedic statement. And that, of course, is the position of the Supreme Soul. It is the Supreme Soul who is rightly addressed as Lord. The individual soul, you know, the term used, often used is Purusha, which literally means like a person. So the living beings are Purusha, and the Supreme Being is called the Param Purusha, the Supreme Purusha. And so when in my life I am living out, I'm living out this idea that I am central, everything is about me, everything is in relation to me, then I am attempting to usurp a position that is somebody else's. So that's a rather a deep idea. And because the living being manifests this enviousness of God and desiring to be the central enjoying agent, it is not my deepest spiritual nature but if I am to try and live out that desire, the need for this illusory energy becomes obvious. It is through the agency of this illusory energy that I can be absorbed in that illusion and I can live that way. I can live that life of trying to be the center of everything, the central enjoying agent. So it is maya that, or illusion, that facilitates the false concept of who I am. And, and that's referring back to the first talk a couple of weeks ago about, about the, the false ego. When I have that false conception of self and I want to live as the central enjoying agent, it is Maya 
that makes that possible for the living beings to do it. And some people may say, well, that's cruel because now I'm in this illusion, so I will keep going. No, it's the other way around. As long as I am holding on to that false concept of self, as long as I am holding on to the desire to be the central enjoying agent, then Maya facilitates that so it can happen. So, you know, as, as I mentioned, you know, a couple of weeks ago with the false ego talk, this false ego is the seed, the seed of the problem. It is the, the first step. This false concept of myself as being central, as being all important and wanting to be the supreme enjoyer of things you know, that central enjoying agent. So Maya facilitates that for the, the living beings. Um, the, the, the subject of, of Maya is almost never talked about in, in yoga circles. Um, it's like people are, are unaware I mean, if I, if I was aware that I am deeply influenced by this illusion, I am in deep illusion, that would be rather humbling. It's pretty hard to be on a tall perch and thinking I've got it together. If I am actually aware of the reality of the situation, In the Yoga Sutra of Patanjali, he does not refer to Maya um, and discuss Maya. But what he does discuss is the effect that Maya has upon the soul. And so this is normally how it's dealt with in, in the world of, of the mystical yoga process or Ashtanga yoga. It is the, the effect. So there is a verse in the um, Yoga Sutra in the second pada or chapter, the fifth shloka. Um, it goes anitya suchi dukham atmanashu nitya suchi sukhatma kayatir abhidya and it translates as ignorance consists of considering that which is temporary as eternal. So before we go any further, I'll just make the point that he is now talking about the effects of Maya and the principal way these effects are grouped together is under the heading of ignorance. In Sanskrit, the word vidya means knowledge, actual knowledge. And abhidya is the opposite of knowledge, which is ignorance. So ignorance consists of considering that which is temporary as eternal. So, I mean, that, that refers to relationships, the thing I call home, the concepts I have of who I am, the body as being me, you know, my desires, all of these things, I hold them to be the only truth. That's, that's it. This is the whole picture. But actually those things are eternal. I'm sorry, are temporary. So ignorance consists of considering that which is temporary is eternal. 
the impure as being pure, misery as happiness, and the non-self, meaning the body or mind, as the real self. So this is, in summary, the effects that are produced by maya. And so a big part of the process of self-realization was seeking to overcome this ignorance, to live in a state of actual knowing, of knowledge, of, of awareness. The Vedas deal much more intimately and in a much more detailed way about this illusory energy, its nature, the effects that it has, and how it is to be overcome. And I've actually got a lot of verses here, which I was going to read to you. And hopefully we've got it together and put the slides up so you can uh, read along and contemplate on, on this great illusion, this powerful illusory energy called Maya. So in this first <clears throat> verse that we'll read from the Bhagavat Purana, from the 11th canto, Lord Krishna is speaking to Udhava. My dear Udhava, the material universe that you perceive through your mind, speech, eyes, ears, and other senses is an illusory creation that one imagines to be real due to the influence of Maya. In fact, you should know that all of the objects of the material senses are temporary. Temporary. So, I just wanted to make the point here. There is a concept in the Advaita Vedanta school that the material energy is false. It is unreal in, in all respects. And that what we experience is completely just an illusion. The actual Vedas teach that while material creation is real, it is a temporary and fleeting reality. And on that basis, it is considered illusory. It is considered false. So, you know, this, what, what we just read, really ties into what's going on um, for some time now in the world of um, quantum physics. In the world of quantum, quantum physics, you know, they actually examine the nature of perception and whether things are real or not real. You know, and they raise these things that you, you hear if a tree fell in the forest and no one heard or saw it, did it actually happen? <laughs> don't, don't worry, I'm not proposing that we're going to discuss that or try and figure that one out. But, you know, what they do point out is that all sensory activity, like seeing, and this is we've discussed before, when you actually see, you, your eye is not seeing anything. Your eye is just a gelatinous blob that allows through a lens to a light to enter. And that light hits photosensitive cells on the back, creates electrical impulses, 
which are transmitted through the optic nerve to the brain, which then set off, you know, electrical impulses in the brain. And none of that explains perception. Who is seeing and how are they seeing through that, you know, physical process? So not only that, all sensory activity and everything that you're observing is actually, you're observing it within the mind. And then, you know, so these, these quantum physicists ask this question, well, is there any external reality to this whatsoever? And is that, if there is something corresponding it, is it the way that we're experiencing it within our mind? I mean, most of us don't even think about this. We just go on about our life, you know, looking at things, talking to people, touching things, tasting stuff, speaking, hearing, doing all of these things in this world, which the heavy thinkers, the quantum physicists are going like, oh my God, where is this actually going on? Where is this actually happening? And if you think about that, it's kind of like, it's really trippy and it's really amazing. So speaking to that point, um, Lord Krishna states to Uddhava, my dear Uddhava, the material universe that you perceive through your mind, speech, eyes, ears, and other senses is an illusory creation that one imagines to be real due to the influence of Maya. In fact, you should know that all of the objects of the material senses are temporary. So, I mean, if you actually contemplate on that, that's kind of like shocking. It's a massive revelation. And once again, I'm just going to remind you that while we'll read some of these verses and they are significant and they are, I mean, weighty, don't lose the plot. Don't, don't become overwhelmed. Just listen and, and try to understand and um, don't be overly um, fixated on just this topic. So in the next verse I've got, just as a dream is merely a creation of one's intelligence, but has no actual substance. Similarly, material lamentation, illusion, happiness, distress, and the acceptance of the material body under the influence of Maya are all creations of my illusory energy. In other words, material existence has no essential reality. Very extraordinarily powerful ideas that are, are, it's food for thought, for really deep um, contemplation. So explaining this whole idea even further, yet another shloka, one should see that the material world is a distinct illusion appearing in the mind because material objects have an extremely flickering existence and are here today and gone tomorrow. They can be compared to this streaking red line created by a by whirling a fiery stick. So like you've seen, you know, sometimes when in the, in the Pacific Islands, Hawaii, they do these dances and they use either poise, you know, that are on fire or fire sticks and they're whirling them around and it creates the illusion of just a, like a ring of fire 
in the air, but actually there is no such ring that is actually there. They can be compared to the streaking red line created by whirling a fiery stick. The spirit soul, by nature, exists in the single state of pure consciousness. However, in this world, he appears in many different forms and stages of existence. So these forms are the different varieties of material bodies and the stages of existence are like, you know, from birth and then growth and development, reaching maturity, potentially producing offspring, then withering, the body withering, and finally dying. The modes of nature divide the soul's consciousness into normal wakefulness, dreaming, and dreamless sleep. All such varieties of perception, however, are actually maya and exist only like in a dream. So just to um, give you something to reflect on, just like the reference I gave to, you know, your previous body, your previous life that you had, the relationships that you had, the connections, and how real that was. And yet at the moment of death, it is rendered not even to a distant thought, but it is eliminated. And yet we considered it all so permanent and, and so real. And it is due to the influence of Maya that this dreamlike -like existences that we go through seem so real and permanent. Another verse, due to my feeling of false ego, I have been engaged by your Maya and have identified myself with the body and consequent bodily relations. Another verse, O Lord, the people of this world, both men and women, are bewildered by your illusory energy. Unaware of their real benefit, they do not worship you, but instead seek happiness by entangling themselves in family affairs, which are actually sources of misery. So I'm not going to <laughs> go on with that one too much, but it's a pretty different perspective than what most of us have. Mm. Speaking to the power of this illusory energy. Another verse states, No one can overcome the Supreme Person's illusory energy or Maya, which is so strong that it bewilders everyone making one lose the sense to understand the aim of life. That's kind of like quite frightening. It's described this illusory energy is so strong that it bewilders everyone. You know, we think we have purpose and direction in material life and we, we're so focused and driven and, and, and everything. We don't see that that is an actual state of bewilderment when we consider that I am actually an eternal spiritual being. I have a spiritual home. My purpose should be to regain my original lost consciousness, my original lost spiritual connection with the Supreme Soul, to again become lost in an ocean of spiritual love. That's what my purpose should be. But 
that's not even a consideration for us in ordinary life because we are bewildered by this energy. And it makes one lose the sense to understand the aim of life. Another verse, the Supreme Lord's Maya makes men forget their real selves and thus taking the body for the self, they consider others to be friends, enemies or neutral parties, utterly oblivious to the spiritual identity of the living being within those bodies. So, you know, I've I've got three more verses to read. It's like coming out the other end of the illusion of Maya. These verses that I've read, if they were really contemplated on, and considered in relation to our actual life, I mean, it's shocking. It's quite even frightening for some people. But just because we are unaware and now becoming a little thoughtful about this, it shouldn't overwhelm us. We should feel gratitude and thankfulness to being allowed to hear these things and to consider these realities. If you are sitting there watching this talk and reflecting on these things, you should understand that it is happening by divine grace. It is a special blessing to be able to be brought to this position of thinking in a different way to what is described as utter bewilderment of material existence. So this is from the Chaitanya Charitamrita. It says the original nature of every living being is to consider himself the eternal servant of the Lord. But under the influence of Maya, He thinks himself to be the body, and thus his original consciousness is covered. Then from the Bhagavat Purana, thus the yogi can be in the self-realized position after conquering the insurmountable spell of Maya, who presents herself as both the cause and effect of this material manifestation and is therefore very difficult to understand. So the need to have this veil, this more than a veil, I mean, it's just like it's utter dense fog, to have it lifted, to have it evaporated so I can begin to see with more clarity is of utmost importance. And then this final verse that I was going to read. If the illusory energy subsides, and the living entity becomes fully enriched with knowledge by the grace of the Lord. Then he becomes at once enlightened with self-realization and thus becomes situated in his own glory. He becomes situated in his own glory. You know, this is the these previous two talks about the false ego and the role it plays in covering the transcendental living being. 
And then in that covered state, one struggles with these concepts like what we talked about last week, false or, or, or self-esteem. With all the focus being placed on trying to find glory in that which is temporary, that temporary material covering. It's just like, no, that's not where you find in this verse that we just read. That one, you know, discovers this, becomes situated in their actual glory through this process of self and God realization. And of course, the most efficient means for dispelling this fog. The most efficient means for shining light into this darkness known as material existence. The most efficient means for lifting this veil of illusion is through this process of chanting these transcendental sounds. It's not just a feel-good exercise, although it feels good. It's not just about calming your mind and finding a little bit of you know, stability and peacefulness. It's way more than that. It's about rediscovering your glorious spiritual position and, and existence and identity. And this process is so powerful that, as we've read before in, in a verse, it dissolves this subtle covering of the soul in the same way that food you know, when it put into the stomach, becomes digested. This covering of the soul becomes gradually dissolved. And your actual spiritual identity is once again revealed. The illusion is overcome. So I invite you to join me in enchanting we'll chant the Haribol Nitai Gore mantra and maybe the Maha mantra. Thank you very, very much. Haribo nitai go, nitai go, haribo. Haribo nitai go, nitai go, haribo. Haribo nitai go, nitai go, haribo. Haribo. I go Nitai go, 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 nitai go
caigo Haribo, Haribo Ni taigo, ni taigo Haribo Haribo, ni taigo Ni taigo, Haribo Haribo, ni taigo Ni taigo
Thank you very, very much. Thank you so much, Sir Acharyadas, for sh sharing your transcendental knowledge to us. Chai Chai Gurudev. Chai Chai Nitai Gaur. Chai Chai Sankirtan Haribo. Please accept our humble obeisances.
Thank you, uh, everyone, for joining, staying online. Let's move to share a mic, Kirtan, from Europe. Let's welcome my dear Radha. Hari Bal Namaste. Hi, Bol. Hi, Bol. Hi, Bol. Namaste, everyone. Thank you. 
Jai Jai Gurudev, Jai Jai Nitai Gaur, Jai Jai Sankirtan Hari Bo! Thank you so much. Please take care. Hari Bo Namaste. And now let's fly back to the Philippines. Let's welcome Admin Laguna back to devotees. Hari Bo! Yeah, do it. 
Daghang salamat sa tanan, sa Santa Rosa, Binyan, Pasita, San Pedro, Mindanao, Bisaya, maraming maraming salamat po! Hari Ball! Hari Ball! Hari Ball! Thank you so much. Thank you, Admin Laguna Bacta, for sharing your rockout kirtan. Jai Jai Guru Dev, Jai Jai Anita Igor, Jai Jai Sun Kirtan, Hari Ball! Hari Thank you so much. Namaste, everyone. Thank you so much, Hari Ball. We are not living Philippines yet. Let's welcome Sir Chatur Bujadas and Indian devotees. Haribol, namaste. Haribol. 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 Namo Vishnu Padaya, Namastaya, Gutali, Kimatisya, Parupananda, Paramahamta,
Yeah. 
and Indian devotees for coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Jai Jai Gurudev, Jai Jai Anita Igor, Jai Jai Sankirtan, Haribo! Haribo! Jai Jai Sankirtan, Haribo! Haribo! Maraming Haribol. salamat po. Please take care. Haribo! Namaste. Haribo! Haribo! And now, let's fly to Poland. Let's welcome my dear Archana Dasi and Sir Robert. Haribo! Namaste! Haribo! Haribo namaste. namaste! 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 Namaste!
Namaste Dirimukunda Dasi. Namaste Chatur Buja Dasi and Indian Devoti. Namaste Laguna Bhakta Family. Hari Bol to all. Krishna Krishna. Thank you so much. Hari Bol. <coughs>
coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting jai jai gurudev jai jai anitai gor jai jai sankirtan hari bo hari bo bardzo dziękujemy hari bo thank you so much thank you so much please take care hari bo namaste and Haribol. now let's fly to toronto canada let's welcome my dear kati hari bo namaste Haribo Namaste Hare Krishna Haribo Haribo Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shri Mathe Siddha Swarvananda Armaham Sai
Haribo! Thank you so much, my dear Kati, for coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Jai Jai Gurudev, Jai Jai Nitai Gaur, Jai Jai Sankirtan, Haribo! Haribo! Thank you for having me. Hare Krishna. Haribo. Haribo. Please take so much. care. Namaste. Namaste. And now let's fly to Russia. Let's welcome, my dear Sana. Hari Bol Namaste. Hari Bol Namaste. Hari Bol. Hari Bol, Hari Bol. Yeah. 
Thank you so much, my dear Zana and family, for coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Jaya Jaya Gurudev, Jaya Jaya Nitaikor, Jaya Jaya Sankirtan Haribo! Haribo! Thank you so much. Please take care. Haribo! Namaste. And now let's fly to England. Let's welcome my dear Tonya and Yura. Haribo! Namaste. Haribo! Namaste. Haribo! Haribo! Thank you very much for inviting us. And Jaya Jaya Sankirtan. Haribo. Haribo. Namo Vishnu Pandaya Krishna Prestaya Mutale Shimate Siddhas Parupananda Ramam Saiti Namine Namao Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Shimate Siddha Sarupananda Ramam Saiti Namine Namo Si
coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Jaya Jaya Gurudev. Jaya Jaya Nitai Kaur. Jaya Jaya Sankirtan Hari Bo. Jaya Jaya Gurudev. Jaya Nitai Kaur. Jaya Sankirtan. Thank you very much. Hari Bo. Hari Krishna. Hari Bo. Thank you so much. Please take care. Hari Bo. Namaste. Namaste. Hari Bo. And now let's fly to Germany. Let's welcome my dear Renate and Marcus. Hari Bo. Namaste. Hari Bo. Namaste. Hari Bo. Yeah. 
Hari Hari Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. 
Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. 
Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.
Lady Renata and Sir Marcus for coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Jai Jai Gurudev, Jai Jai Anita Igor, Jai Jai Sankirtan Haribo! Haribo, thank you so much. Please take care. Haribo Namaste. Haribo Namaste. Haribo. And now let's fly back to the Philippines. Let's welcome my dear Ella Sitar. Haribo Namaste. Marble, thank you so much. I
today, Johnny Tagore. Thank you so much. Haribo. Namaste. Haribo. Haribo. Maraming Haribo. salamat po, my dear Ella, for coming and sharing your sweet chanting. Jaya Jaya Gurudev. Jaya Jaya Nita Igor. Jaya Jaya Sangiritan. Haribo! 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 Thank you so much. Thank Haribo. you so much. Please take care. Haribo Namaste. Haribo. And now, let's fly to California. Let's welcome Sir Sal Custodio. Haribo, Sir Sal. Haribo! Haribo! Haribo, can you use my... Oh, aha. Is my audio okay? Yes, sir. Haribo. Haribo. Thank you. Namang Bisnu Padaya Snapistaya Dutale Jingate Siraswaru
Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Krishna
Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Jaitanya, Nichananda, Jaitanya, Nichananda, Jaitanya, Nichananda, Jaitanya. Haribo. 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 
Thank you so much, Sir Sal, for coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Chai Chai Gurudev, Chai Chai Nitai Kaur, Chai Chai Sankirtan, Hari Bo! Hari Bo! Maraming salamat po. Please take care. Hari Bo! Namaste! Hari Bo! Namaste! Hari Bo! Maraming maraming Haribol. salamat po sa lahat. Pag join sa Zoom, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Zoom. Maraming maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat kay Ma'am Fe, Ma'am Susan, Ma'am Marilyn, Sir Serio, Ma'am Maria, Ma'am Jamie, Ma'am Teresita, Ma'am Asunta, Ma'am Ella, of course, Ma'am Dorothy, Harry Paul, Ma'am Evelyn, Yes, Haribol. Haribol. Oh, Mom Pinky. Ateros. Infinix. Haribol Namaste. Haribol. Haribol Namaste, gorgeous. Thank you, Laguna. Haribol. Admin Laguna Bakti. Namaste. Maraming, maraming salamat po. Namaste. Daghang salamat sa lahat. Kay Sarah, kay Kati, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng pag-join. No, I thank you. Please accept my humble respects to all. Thank you very much for all the guests and devotees who joined the Sankirtan movement of Lord Chaitanya. See you all soon. Chai Chai Gurudev. Chai Chai Nitai Gaur. Chai Chai Sankirtan. Hari Bo! Haribo Namaste. Haribo. Haribo Namaste. The easiest way to come to the transcendental platform of love for the Lord is by regularly hearing and chanting His holy names. Gopala Govind Rama Madana Mohana Gopala Govind Rama Madana Mohana Gopala Govind Rama Together, go by let go.